Hello! In this video, I'm going to focus on using Kami to make your classroom paperless and also collaborative. So in this video, I am going to be talking about the premium features that are available in Kami. There's going to be three main things that I'll focus on in this video. The first is how you as a teacher can create an interactive activity for your students with rich media, including voice notes and even videos and screencasting all directly in Kami. The second thing I'll focus on is how students can annotate and also collaborate. And then the third thing is I will go back to the teacher view and talk about how you can give feedback and also review work that students have done. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in to Kami and that will take me to a screen that looks like this. Now Kami is integrated with Google Drive. So I can either go to cami.com or if I'm in my Google Drive, I can open any document, even a Google Doc with Cami, and that would open it right in Cami. So again, all of this syncs with Google Drive and that's the power of it. You get that same collaboration and automatic sharing that you get with Google Drive. Now let's dig in to how to create, first of all. What I'm gonna do is I just have a simple addition worksheet on my computer because I was doing some addition with my niece. So let's dig into that. I can just open from my computer and this is a PDF. I do not need to convert the PDF. I do not need to upload it to Google Drive first. None of that. I just upload it from my computer and it brings it right into Kami that quickly. Now something amazing is that Kami has OCR built in, which is optical character recognition. So if I run OCR on this, then what it's going to do is it's going to recognize all the text as actual text. So it's going to become searchable. So now I can do a find on page and if I look up numbers, it's going to actually find it, whereas a PDF is not usually searchable. But the other thing that Kami has built in is a dictionary, just like that, and also text-to-speech. So a student who needs some help reading, and the numbers and write down the correct answer. That's available for them. They can also change the speed and so forth. The next tool is the markup tool. Since I've done the OCR, it recognizes all of this as text, so I can highlight just like that. When I highlight, I can also leave a note. I can type. I can also do voice typing. Here is how it works. So just like that. I can also underline. So let's say I want in red to underline. I have commenting tools, so I can do a normal text comment like that. I can also do a voice comment by just clicking anywhere. I want to insert my voice, start recording. So here we go. This is going to be a little voice comment done. I can change the color of that dot. I can move that dot wherever I may want it. And then you can play that recording back. Then there is a video comment that would just be your front facing camera but there's also a screen capture, which I really love as a math teacher to always start with an example and read the instructions aloud. So when I'm assigning this worksheet, for instance, I might do something like this. As it says, click or select text anywhere on the page to make a screen capture comment. So I'm going to just click right here. I'm going to choose my entire screen when I'm ready to start recording, which it's already recording, but I'm going to go to the drawing tools so that I can write. Hi class, so in this assignment, we are going to be adding the numbers and then you'll write the correct answer in the box right there. So let me show you how the first one goes. So the first one is saying four plus three. So let's start with the bigger number, which is four, and then we wanna add three more. So four, and then we wanna add three more, done. So now when I actually assign this as a worksheet to my students, they can start with the screencast. They can watch it in full screen. And they can watch me do that first example so that they can understand what they're supposed to do 
in this assignment. So that is really powerful. Let me escape out of that and stop that video right now. But that is a really powerful way to leave an example of how to get started for students right in the worksheet. So this is a very interactive experience for them. So we just left off at that screen capture comment. Then we have a text box, which of course works as any text box. Now when students are filling this out, if they don't have a pen, they could just type their response. You can easily resize that and change the color and of course move it around. Now something to know with the text is that there's actually a rich text editor right up here. So if you on the PDF worksheet wanted to give some more instructions, even if you want to embed a URL like Google, I can highlight that and make it a hyperlink and that will be an actual hyperlink that students can click on. And as a math teacher, I'm always excited when there is an equation editor and there is a great equation editor in here. So integral from zero to two of, let's do a fraction, just like that. And then of course I can move that around, change the color, I can change the background color, that's not great. I have a lot of different options in here. I can add bullet points and I can do voice typing in any text box as well. So again, a great way to be able to take a PDF that's already been created and then you can add additional instructions and interactivity into it. Lastly, there is this equation editor here where you can just insert some symbols, but I really like using the rich text and just typing my equation using this equation editor right here. There was a drawing tool, which I've already shown you. You can change the thickness of your pen. You can change the colors that you wanna easily be able to switch between. You can even get some more colors there. And then there is a shape tool, so you can add shapes. And if you hold down the shift key, it will create a perfect circle like that. If you unhold it, then it will be more of an ellipse. Now, if I go back to the select tool and select on that circle, I can change the thickness and I can also choose to fill the shape and I can change the color just like that. Let me delete it. Of course, there's an eraser tool that works just like that. And lastly, there is insert image. So say that your students are doing some work on a piece of paper and they want to upload that and insert it, they could do that also. I'm gonna just take a very simple screenshot like this. Go to my computer. There's a screenshot. I can resize it. I can crop it if needed and I can easily move it around wherever I want it. And then finally, there's a signature tool, which I've never actually used. So now that I've made this interactive worksheet for my students, let me go ahead and save it, save now, and I have this automatically syncing up with my Google Drive. So it's automatically going to my Google Drive, even though all I did was upload a PDF into Kami. And then I'm going to share this document. So if I want each student to get their own copy, then I'm going to share it as anyone with a link can view. When I share this link, now I'm going to be signed in as a teacher on the left and as a student on the right. Then when the student goes to do something and click, you can see it says that you don't have permission to edit, but you can create a copy. So that's what the student would do. Then each student's going to get their own copy and now they can edit their document. They can fill out the worksheet using any of the tools that you had as a teacher. I am on a premium license here, but if I'm on premium, then my students all get premium as well. So they can have the text read aloud. Add the numbers and write down the correct end. Just like that, mark up the document or fill it out. Let's just do some text boxes. Let's make it a little bit bigger. If they have a pen or they're able to draw with their mouse, they could figure out some of these answers. And then they can share the document and then just add their teacher's name to share it like they would share any other Google Doc. Now, I wanna also show you how collaboration works. So if instead 
of sharing this document as a viewer, I shared it as an editor. Then let me copy that link and go over to the student end. So on the student end, let me just authorize. This time I am able to annotate. And so I'm a student on this side, I'm a teacher on this side. As soon as I write, you can see how quickly it shows up. So you have two students working on this document. It's almost instantaneous, just like that. And students can be working on this together even if they are in two different spaces. So that is fantastic. Now, as the teacher, sometimes you do group work, you wanna see who's done what. You can actually view that. Let me make this screen a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm saying. So this is me and this is student one. So if I click on myself to turn myself as a collaborator off, now I'm only seeing the work that student one had done. Now, if I turn off student one and just turn on myself, then that one's missing because student one had done that, of course. And so I only see the things that I had done. So again, I can easily see who did what by just clicking on the collaborators' names down here. In addition, I can open up this sidebar and there is this little button right here and that is a breakdown of all the annotations that have been made on this document. This can be a great way to assign either small group work, you could assign a collaborative document in teams of three, for example, or you can have a class collaborative document. Students can work together in real time using Kami to fill this out. So again, if I type something here as a student, you'll see it show up almost instantaneously here. So now we've looked at this collaboration piece. I did also wanna show how annotation can work on more of a text document than something that's more of a math annotation. So let's say that we have this Google Doc and I want students to annotate this using Kami. So I would just right click on my Google Doc, open with, annotate with Kami. That will automatically pull it into Kami. Now this text is no longer editable because it's kind of made it into a PDF, but I can use all the Kami tools to read this aloud. The quick brown fox jump. So I can annotate. I could say to my students, for instance, let's make it red, in red, highlight, all whatever, change the color, in blue, highlight, all whatever give them some instructions, and then you would share it with students. When students go to do this, then they can use the markup tool, highlight in red certain passages, and then change their color to blue to highlight whatever else you're asking them to highlight. As well, they can leave annotations here. Of course, they could leave richer feedback, but I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Now, something that I know that teachers are often looking for is to just see the annotations and not everything. They just wanna see the annotations students have made. So you could ask students to download the annotations only, and you can do that to your computer or even directly to Google Drive. You can even tell it what folder. I'm going to just begin the export to Google Drive and then open it in Google Drive. And what that did is created a PDF in my Google Drive of only the things that I highlighted, and it shows the colors that I highlighted them in. So that's pretty cool if you wanna help them organize their information and so forth. So using Kami is just such an easy way to take any worksheet that you have and allow students to fill in the blank or label a diagram. And it takes it beyond just making the worksheet digital in terms of all this rich media can be added, like the voice comments, like the video right directly in here, or the screen capture to provide better feedback, and also the tools like text-to-speech to help students who may need that. The last thing I said I would talk about is teacher feedback. Now, much of what I've demonstrated already, all these tools can be used for creation, and for feedback. But another simple way to use Kami is have students do some work on a piece of paper, take a snapshot of it with their phone, save it to Google Drive, and after they've saved it to Google Drive, so your student would save it to Google Drive, and then you just right click on the PDF, open with Kami, and then you can use all of the pen tools, 
to mark it up. You can even leave a little voice comment just to bring some emotion to this. Hey, did a great job here. Let me just break this down for you a little bit. So save a little bit of a voice note. If you need to resolve a problem for the student, you can do a quick little screen capture right here. So just press the screen capture, tap anywhere, go on the whole screen. You can add just like that, done. So you're then explaining to students. You don't need to hop on a separate video call with them. You can just add that right into their feedback. If you need more room because there's not room on here and you need to explain a concept, you can add another page. It can be a blank page, a line page, a grid page, even a music sheet. I'm gonna just do a line page and then that line page comes here at the bottom for me so I could have an extra page and then I can add a little screen capture. So let me go ahead and add that right here. Go back to my pen tools so I can add a little note to students, even a little whiteboarding, just all right in one place. I don't have to go somewhere else to do this. If they made a mistake and there's a great YouTube video that you want to link them to, you can actually do that too. If I paste in a YouTube link like that, you'll see it actually embeds as a video. Now, one thing that's coming soon to Cami is you're gonna be able to reuse comments. So say you make this video that a lot of students miss that same question, you're gonna be able to save this to a comment bank and that's going to take things to the next level, I think, in terms of providing effective feedback and for it to be sustainable because we all know we're grading 50 papers and 10 of them will have exactly the same mistake that you want to just be able to copy and paste that explanation for them. Again, when you're all done, you can just save this. And what I like to do is I usually just have a Google Drive folder with my students and I can just move the file right from here into whatever folder I had shared with my students. So that's really it to get it shared with your student. Of course, you can always share the document link like that and give that directly to the student. There are a variety of ways to save it, but I think the easiest is just to save it to a Google Drive folder so you can just move it right there, place it into the student's folder, and then they have a record of all of their work and all of their feedback. So I hope that this video shows you some of the features that are available in Kami and that you found it helpful. Bye.